Only announcement has been paid for by the one man game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am back once again to talk some wrestling. Uh, but, but before we get into that, I'd like to say like, subscribe, share, and you can follow me on Twitter at SwissOmi94. Uh, I have a lot of notes, so let's not waste any more time. So, in particular, I'm here to talk about Impact and the entire uh, Broken Hardy segment. Uh, saga, excuse me, that's been going on. And in the latest, the latest report, uh, TNA, excuse me, Impact Wrestling has recently filed for trademarks on Broken Mad, uh, Brother Nero, Vanguard One, and Broken Brilliance. Uh, and you know they've been filed for trademarks, you know, this entire time. And you know, Matt Hardy responded with a tweet uh, to all of this. He, he said it shows uh, they do not care about the fans. Ed Nordhum wants to keep my creation, the Broken Universe, hostage from fans who wish to see it. So, before we, I get into that, in that tweet, let's go all the way back. Okay, um, like I said, Impact has been copywriting things. Uh, for for the longest, this is going back and forth. Uh, Ribby's uh, has gotten involved with you know, I've I've seen things toward TNA, saying things toward them. Uh, even I think uh, Karen Jarrett got involved, responding to her, and it's just been a big mess. So before we get into this whole saga. I want to take a trip back all the way to 1996. Man, that was over 20 years ago. Wow. But Scott Hall and Kevin Nash jumped from WWE, WWF at the time, to WCW. They came in under their personas. Uh, especially Scott Hall, he was still doing the hey yo and the whole Razor Ramon uh, accent and whatever. But the entire thing was these are guys that are coming to take over, the hostile takeover. It made it seem like uh, WWE, that they were still working for WWF and just coming in to, to take over WCW. Well, for context for this whole Broken Mat thing, uh, WWF sued at the time because they they took exception to the fact that WCW were making it seem like uh, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash were work, still working for them. So they got into this huge lawsuit. And if you want to go back to you can you can Google it and you can see the extensive law, lawsuit and how long it took took and what all of the stuff that they went through, but. All of this kind of led to uh, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash at the Great American Bash, and it's the the, uh, the segment where they powerbomb Bischoff through some pillows. But what everyone forgets about this segment is that Eric Bischoff had to ask them something, and it all related to this lawsuit. So let's get into that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go any further, let's clear one thing up. Do you work for the WWF? No. How about it? No. All right. So Bischoff had to ask them, do they work for WWF? On pay-per-view, they had to get that cleared up out of the way. So just for context, that's what WWF, the things that WWF went through to protect their rights to their characters. So... Getting back into this uh, Impact Broken Matt Hardy saga, I mean, Matt Hardy had a phenomenal TNA run, and he just continued to reinvent himself, whether it was regular old Matt Hardy, he uh, then reinvented himself into uh, Big Money Matt, and then of course Broken Hardy. 
So he had some phenomenal matches, some great moments. Uh, final deletion, uh, uh, delete or decay, the, the big tag match that they had, the expedition of gold, just great stuff. But looking at the, looking at what's going on, one of the things I've seen is a huge fan debate, which seems like it's WWE versus TNA fans, and. It's been Jeremy Borash versus Matt Hardy. It's been a, been a been a Jeremy Borash Matt Hardy debate, excuse me. And fans that support the Jeremy Borash narrative say that Jeremy Bor- Borash had a huge part in creating all of this, and that he is most likely the creator of it all, in that he created it first. And fans on Matt Hardy's side say that Matt Hardy created it because he he's the character. He he created all of it. And that's two narratives. That's two strong narratives. And both sides kind of have a point when you look at it. And what can't be determined and why this crazy debate still goes on is the fact that it can't be determined and it will never be determined who created it unless Jeremy Borash or Matt Hardy come come out and say the other one really created all of it and that's not going to happen but I think what, what everyone can agree on is that Jeremy Borash was a big part of it you seen a I seen a story that uh, said that Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy tried to get Jeremy Borash to jump to WWE with them and whether you believe that story or not, that's on you. But, I mean, it's something that I believe could happen. And it is something that I really think uh, Matt and Jeff would do. It's just a fan's intuition. I could be right or wrong on that one. But even in that, even if, if in that story alone, if you believe that story to be true, that says enough to say that Jeremy Borash was a huge part of this entire uh, character so looking at the situation if Matt cared that much about the character and I'm look I'm I'm sure that he cares a whole lot about the character he he has done a phenomenal job he goes to these interviews and he stays in character and it's just great well it was great but looking at the facts Matt Hardy didn't try to go out and copyright anything and like if he if he really cared about the character and claiming its rights he would have fought on that end now i'm sure that he may not have been successful at trying to copyright something because let's be um honest here all of this was done on impact wrestling's programming this is their television program, their ring, their footage, their everything. So, look, you can't, they, this is their stuff. So you can't go out and copyright it. I mean, looking at WWE, for instance, just, just for an, another example, look at Cody Rhodes, for example. WWE went out of their way to uh, stop Cody from using the Rhodes name and this was after Dusty Rhodes passed away if anything this is what fans should have been fighting for this is the guy that you know the fans should have been fighting over to have his last name I mean uh, Dusty Rhodes just passed away WWE could have shown some kind of contrition for that and just let Cody have it but in the end that's WWE's property Cody Rhodes can't use that name if WWE intends on stopping him from using it. And that's just how the business works. So, looking back at the Matt Hardy saga and going back to that tweet that he uh, sent out, he said it shows they do not care about the fans. And I totally disagree with that. It shows that they care about their intellectual property. And, you know, they care about the fans, but in the end, since they 
won't won't the rights to the broken hearty uh name well to the broken uh character then it, that's their business that's the right so the question is in the end is impact in the right for trademarking broken character and the answer is yes they are in the right because that's their property and it happened on their TV and they have the right to do it now could you say that they are being petty in all of this sure they are yes they are but so was WWF and w, uh, WWF WWE in many instances before them when they trademark a lot of stuff in uh, names and what have you in lawsuits and what have you and I mean that's just the way it is that's, like I said it's the way wrestling works at, at times sometimes they don't care about you know characters or names or whatever and sometimes they do and in, in this instance Impact does they may be petty but they may be being petty but they are right things like this have happened in wrestling before so I can't criticize Impact in this because they are fighting for their intellectual property and you know I can't criticize Matt either because you know he wants the character as well but in the end Matt Hardy should just uh, work on a way of developing a new character and if you listen to my WWE Payback preview, I said that the Hardys would be broken. They would be the broken Hardys sometime soon. And all they have to do is develop a slight changed name, maybe Woken Brett, uh, Matt Hardy. And then they'll have the character and that'll be that. And you know, that'll be, it'll, it'll be over with. So, I mean, that's all he has to do instead of, you know, fighting back and forth over something that Impact clearly owns. So, if he wants to go down that road, then so be it. If he wants to keep going down this road, then, and, you know, it's a dead end. Because Impact is right, and they have the rights to the character.